So I'm Daniela Texera, I'm a PhD student at the University of Queensland and I work on um, applying bioacoustic technology to monitoring breeding in black cockatoos. So I focus on two endangered subspecies of black cockatoo. The first one of that is the Kangaroo Island Glossy Black Cockatoo and of those there's only about 400 left and they have experienced a range contraction. They're no longer on the mainland of Australia, they're only on Kangaroo Island now. One of the species on Kangaroo Island is the Glossy Black Cockatoo, the, the Kangaroo Island subspecies of that cockatoo. It's a really rare threatened species that we've been putting a lot of effort into conserving over a long period of time now, mostly through um, getting some of their food trees restored and also through protecting some of their nest sites, so they nest in hollow trees. The second subspecies that I work on is the southeastern red-tailed black cockatoo and we think there's about 1,500 of those left. So for both of these populations we think that breeding success is a key limiting factor in their recovery um, but monitoring breeding using traditional methods can be quite uh, resource intensive and time consuming so they occur in remote locations and often on private land and being able to follow a nest all the way through to fledging to see whether it's successful is quite a challenge. So my project is about using these new technologies um, with acoustics to see what we can learn about what goes on at the nest and whether they're successful and how that varies throughout the landscape with different um, sort of feeding habitat arrangements and other resources. So dealing with all of this acoustic data is quite a challenge and so we are investigating ways to automate that process. So we'll be building some kind of call recognition algorithms and that will help us get through all of the data and hopefully tell us um, at each nest whether it was successful and if not when it failed and also some other behavioural data from those nests. We're hoping that this method um, will allow conservation managers a really easy and really practical method for monitoring breeding success. Um, so the long-term aim of this work is that when active nests are identified by the conservation managers, they can simply stick a sound recorder at the nest and walk away for the breeding season and collect data remotely without those really large human resource requirements. So these birds are really beautiful and they're really spectacular and I'm just really glad to be doing something that might help their conservation in the future.